Hey guys, how are you? I'm going to uh, make a quick video here on how to set up charts on Thinkorswim on TD Ameritrade and what indicators to use that are very helpful in uh, day trading, swing trading, all that good stuff. So hang on one second. Let me share my screen with you. One second. Okay, let me move me down here. All right, good. Okay, so when you guys open up your Thinkorswim, you know, it's gonna look like this. There's gonna be a side a sidebar here. There's not gonna be as many watch lists, obviously. I have all these watch lists. I'll eventually make a video on how to do all this, but let's just keep it to the charts for now. So I'm gonna press this here and open it up bigger so we can see. I'm on charts. Let's just go on, uh, do Best Buy. All right, so you go up here to um, edit studies, um, but first we'll be on the daily time frame. Okay, this is the daily time frame, which is basically a bunch of years of this stock's price action. Now, this is right here is just 2020, okay? And then the first couple of trading days of 2021. So let, let's start here. This is 2020. This is Best Buy stock. And this is the daily chart. Okay. Now we're going to go up here, click on edit studies. And this is how I have it set up. This works really well on the daily time frame. Now there's all different time frames. Um, us day traders, we usually use the one minute and the five minute as well. So this is just for the daily, I'm gonna go over, and then I'll go over the one minute and the five minute, which are basically the same. So under charts up here at the top, you click that, and then you go to whatever the time frame you put on for the daily, which is each day for the year, and you click on edit studies. This is what we're on right now. So we wanna, we wanna put, the moving average exponential, which is the EMA, which is basically how you would have heard it. The simple moving average, which is the SMA, you're gonna use the 50 and the 200, which are very well-respected daily um, moving averages. About you know 99% of day traders out there are looking at these um, av moving averages. And then I also put on the RSI, which is, it's the relative strength um, indicator of the stock um, during the price action of the day. So that's basically, now let me just show you how I got these over to here. So let's take them away so we can this is what your screen will look like. Under studies, you type in moving average, MOV, and then you'll see uh, moving average exponential you're gonna wanna click on. You're gonna wanna add two of those. I'm sorry, one of those. You add one of the EMA, okay? And now we're gonna do the simple moving average right here. You type simple, click simple moving average. Now you're gonna do two of these, okay? Let's see up here, this is the EMA. On the daily, I like to go with the time frame um, of 20 days and I change the width to two makes it a little thicker, more noticeable. So that's why I use that. Press okay. All right. And then let's go to the simple. Press this little wheel thing. And we're gonna do 50. Okay. 
I change the width to two. And then I also, sorry, my phone was going off. I uh, like to use this color. You don't have to, you can use whatever color you want. And then we do the last one. So basically, I'm sorry, I should have said that. They do a default, okay, which is this. I'm just changing that default because I want to use something different, obviously. All right, so this one, we're going to do 200. All right, enter, and then I do this. For the 200, I use orange. Okay. Now, there's the last one is the RSI, relative strength. Okay, there it is. You click down here, add selected, boom, and you're going to want to leave this just like this. This is the default setting. Every trader is looking at this, and I'll show you. You click apply. Okay, so now this is my daily chart, um, and these are the indicators that I use. Um, you'll notice some of them will have support where you'll see, you know, the price action bounce off of it. Um, like up here, you have the 50 day. Looks like it was very well respected over here until it breaks through. And then you have all this red volume because it just broke a very critical um, uh, moving average there. Okay, now these purple lines, they're just um, some stuff that I put on there. You'll eventually learn how, you know, why these are important. I'll zoom in. You'll see the reason why I put this is this was a gap up day in July where Best Buy gapped from 90 all the way to 100 in one day, 10% move. So the reason why I did that is now coming down on the backside. This, you know, you can see how it's bounced off of this the whole way too. There's a reason why I put this here too. It was getting a lot of support. And, you know, these are really important lines to set. And as you go through your, your journey as whatever it, level you're at, you'll start to see, you know, this will all, it might sound like a different language now, but you'll get, you'll get the hang of it. So let me quickly show you how I set up my one minute time frame. Go up here to one minute, one day, one minute. Now this is gonna be for all you day traders out there, okay? Click on edit studies. And this is what I use. Um, I have it set, I already saved it here to make it easier. Use set, apply, okay? This is what I use, the VWAP, extremely important indicator to use if, if you're day trading. You're gonna to wanna to go over here, you just type in VWAP, you pull it up, you click here, add selected, comes over here, and you're gonna to wanna to just keep the same uh, default setting on this. Okay, I change my color for the middle VWAP line and the width. Now on upper band and lower band, I like to just, they come like this. I just unclick them because I just wanna see the one VWAP line, which is the volume weight average price. Now I'll show you if you have the upper band and the lower band plotted. Okay, apply. Now you'll see that it puts the upper band and the lower band on here as well. Um, you know, which is basically if it's over the VWAP, very strong stock, um, which I was very strong today, <laughs> obviously. But a lot of times these stocks, they'll go up, they'll hit the top um, band, they'll come back to the middle to the VWAP and they'll bounce and they'll just stay up here. And then sometimes it'll come and just break down through the VWAP. You'll see a ton of volume and it'll find support along the bottom band. So this is the VWAP on the one minute setup.
extremely important. Let's go back to edit studies. Now, the only EMA line I put on for the for the intraday, which is the one day, one minute, is the default setting for the EMA, which is the nine day. And that is a very well respected line. You got millions of other traders out there that are literally looking at this line. And, you know, a lot of times it'll be support when it goes through the nine day. Um, it'll a lot of times find support um, on it. And you can just basically trade it and just ride it up, especially when you're this bullish over the VWAP. So anything over VWAP, you got a bullish stock on your hands. Um, under, more bearish. So that's how I set up my charts. Um, basically, I'll eventually make a video on how I set up my active trader. That'll be my next video that I make. But I hope that this helped. Uh, please subscribe and hit the like button. Um, just starting out, I'm going to be making a lot of these videos. So especially if you have Thinkorswim uh, by TD Ameritrade, I'm going to have a lot of really good videos uh, for you guys. Um, basically, that helps you navigate this platform a lot better. Because when you first start out, it is tough. You know, <laughs> how do you see all this stuff? It's very difficult. But um, I, I hope that I helped a little bit today. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you, guys.